Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in previous video I have shown you a 3D pen. But in this video, I have this upgraded and that is automated version of that 3D pen. That is a 3D printer. Yes guys, this is a ANET model ET4 3D printer which was sent to us by the company itself. This printer can be assembled in only 10 to 15 minutes. Yes guys, this is super easy to assemble. And if you want to purchase this printer, I have left some discounted links in the description down below so you can check it out. So let's get started with the unboxing and assembling of this 3D printer and later in the video, I will show you some 3D prints of this printer. So let's get started. So let's quickly grab the knife and cut the box. So opening the box we have got this extruder belt and auto leveling sensor. This is some white filament. And these are some tools for the assembly. So this is SD card and reader, one extra nozzle and a fuse. These are some screws for the assembly. So this is the user manual. And this is the extruder. So let's remove the frame from the box. So this is a heating bed. And also don't forget to remove the foams from each and every part. And here is the base of our printer. So this was all we got from the box. So for safety I will remove this glass. I don't want my glass to break while assembly. Now we'll step by step connect all the connectors to their corresponding ports. So now we'll connect the top frame and tighten it with the screws provided. Thank you. 
Now slowly slide the extruder and now we will connect its belt. You can lose the screws of the stepper motor for your ease. And after doing it, you can tighten it back. So now we'll connect the cable with the connectors. Each cable is labeled well, so there won't be any mistake while connecting it. Don't forget to remove this plastic from the heating bed. Now we'll connect the glass back on the heating bed. Before we start printing, I will manually level the bed. Just tighten or loose the screws below the bed for your leveling. Slide a paper between the bed and the nozzle and make sure there is enough space between them. Now connect the power cord and power on the printer.
Now go to settings and press this home button. So now printer will go to its initial position. Now I will connect this auto level sensor. Go to prepare and select level. Here select auto. So the printer will automatically start the leveling. Now remove the sensor before we insert filament. I am using this 3 idea orange PLA filament. Pass the filament through the filament detector and then to the stepper motor. Press this clip and insert with a little force. Now go to settings on prepare, change filament and select on load. Once the heated filament start dripping off from the nozzle, you can press the stop button. Now insert this SD card to the card reader and connect this to your computer. These are the files you get in the SD card. Open the Kura software and install it. Now open a profile which was provided in the SD card. These are the perfect settings for this ANAT ET4 printer. Set the temperature to 200 and now you can save the file to your SD card. This is a G-code format file. For more 3D objects you can visit this website and search for any object you want. Download this object and open it in your Kura software. Load the file in this Kura software, adjust the height you want and then you can save it to your SD card. Now connect this SD card to your printer and power on your printer. In the print button you can see your files. Click OK to print. I was very satisfied with the print quality of this 3D printer.
To make a lithofin of your image, you can visit this 3dp rocks website. Set the image size, thickness and border. Now go to image settings and change this to a positive image. Now you can download this file and open it in Cura. Rotate your lithophane into vertical position for the best print. I suggest you to use white filaments for lithophanes. So now let's have a look to some printings of this 3D printer. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.